gonna get started. Uh, thanks for uh, coming to the lightning talk session. Uh, first up, I'm uh, my name is Nick Kaufman. I'm community manager for a startup called In Situ, uh, and we are an augmented reality startup. But we're using AR for civic engagement, uh, for public participation in urban planning, uh, for design consultations and collaborative uh, city making, and to map the future of our cities uh, and put it into 3D so that you can see it from your perspective. Our mission is to unlock better conversations, help people have better conversations about the future of cities. Um, we work with city governments, uh, architects, engineers, and construction companies, developers, and other technology products that integrate uh, lightweight AR experiences um, within the urban environment and digital platforms. Um, and so I'm just, today I'm gonna talk about some of the principles we've learned from three years of using augmented reality for community engagement. And the open secret is that like AR is not a silver bullet compared to normal mapping. It, like there's, it's not gonna help a city that's already doing status quo civic, civic engagement reach anyone else other than the same 10 people that show up to a meeting on Tuesday night at a gymnasium to learn about a new building or a proposal. And, it's only as good as, as what you bring to it. And so I think what we've learned from working with cities and, and city builders is that if you play to the strengths of what immersive media and what AR can do, uh, you can really unlock the potential both of your civic engagement process and also the open data and the maps that are out there that speak to the future of our built environment. So um, first principle is uh, AR helps us see from our, from our view and share things with people from their own view. And it's very important, we use smartphone-based AR because you hold it in your hand, and this is the difference from like looking at a model or looking at a presentation like, like this power dynamic versus the power dynamic where I'm in control of what I see is very important in opening up a conversation. So that's just the starting principle for design. Uh, from there, we did a lot of work to try to reduce the friction. Uh, if you've tried AR before, you'll, on any platform, you'll know there's a lot of finicky stuff you have to do to get in. We wanted to reduce the amount of time it takes to get in, to, to see through your camera a new building. Uh, and so we worked to host our experience through app clips and instant apps so that we get native augmented functionality without having to register or download an app. So when cities use this for engagement, they don't have to tell people to download an app, and we, we can measure how much more people get through to the experience because of that. Uh, but lowering the friction as a design principle is not just about the performance of the app, it's about meeting people where they are. And AR, by nature, meets people where they are on the street. We wanna show someone a new project where it's in the context of where it's been proposed, so that you can see in its natural context with the people in your city. Uh, and so we, developed a uh, signage for the street that looks kind of like this. And we learned, we went through some iterations of these street decals, but the point, we ended up putting a point at the top of the decal so that you can orient people towards the experience before they even scan the code. So that also reduces some of the friction. And then meeting people where they are is not just physical, it's digital. So we try to meet people on what social platforms that they're using. We partnered with Snapchat to put a future building proposal on the Snap map and got a lot of people to discover it organically through the Snapchat map. Um, and then, yeah, people can be hard to reach. Even city mayors can be hard to reach. So when we're trying to talk to city mayors, they don't even wanna leave their office. But one of the great things about AR is you can bring it with you and we were able to put something across the street from the mayor's office so you can see through the window. But it's not as much the mayors we're trying to reach. We want the stuff that's happening in city hall to reach the stuff out on the street and reach people with busy schedules who are taking care of kids that don't usually make it to give feedback on a project. Um, next principle is uh, I think if anyone's dealt with architectural visualization, there are very glossy things that are labored over and then they're shared at the end of a process. For AR, we don't want that to be like that. We want you to like share something early. Use this as a tool to have conversations about products before they're finished because we think you can discover new opportunities that way. Um, and so these are some of our users uh, of our uh, uh, AR publishing tool and some projects that they're doing. Uh, there's a planner in Hawaii that is using this to show future affordable housing. And I'll just zoom through to some more benefits. If you've 
seeing like Apple Vision Pro and stuff, we don't use that. We like smartphones because there's some benefits like being able to look over people's shoulder, have an experience and have that experience, firsthand experience shared, not to just the people behind you on the street, uh, but also shared in the media that you tell about a project. And so if you're doing an AR project, try to make the narrative not just about the AR, but spread it out like uh, the whole experience. How is it talked about in the news afterwards? How do you design an event around this? Think about like the whole experience. I just came from DC and this is a, a building that has been proposed in DC that we worked with the Department of Buildings and the architect who's standing there in front of the building showing it to a group of students. Uh, and this decal has been out on that corner for about a year collecting impressions and uh, so when you use it for the organic stuff and then have targeted, really carefully designed events around it, it can be really powerful. And not just a spectacle, but something that's actually really useful. Um, and yeah, that's it. Uh, we have a tool that we just made to publish, geolocated AR, if you want to give it a try. Uh, check it out. We have a free tier you to try a project and let us know what you think. And whatever AI tool you're using, we hope you think about some of these issues when you're doing your projects. Thanks.